Mine. Perfect. Mine. My five arrows. Hello there, sir. I need to murder you, as it turns out. Once again, I feel like you got robbed there. Nice. Idiot. I love just having an insanely long stick. <laughs> Alright, what's this door about? Can I do anything with this? Sure enough. What is this, Zelda Mission Impossible? What the heck? Hi. That was close. There we go. I thought it was too early on that. There we go. Easy. Wrong thing. Double the sturdy stick. Mine. Also mine. Your Sephiroth stick absolutely should have tripped a laser there. It's fine. It's immune. Quick question. Is one of the reasons you're fusing two weapons together because that way you can pick up more of the weapons that drop? I'm full on weapons right now, I believe. Or maybe I have one open slot. So, if there's a weapon on the ground and I'm holding a weapon, then I just fuse it with that weapon because otherwise it serves no purpose. Otherwise, I'm just going to leave it behind because I don't have any space. So, at that point, I may as well fuse it. Also, fusing is fun. There's still two more... things here. I wonder what those are going to be for. I'm sure we'll find out eventually. Probably. Mm, so I need to get a ball down there. Clearly. I just realized that when I ate that dish and got this defense up, it got rid of my cold resist, and we don't have any more cold resist. But I think we're next to a stable, so I can go make some more food. The heck is with the layout of this place, dude? Mm, it's a glidey thing is in there. Interesting. I'm not sure what purpose that would serve me. I don't know where the ball is that I need. Her. What's with this weird grate? Okay. Oh, well, there's a tiny ball right there. I didn't really notice that at first. Uh-huh. This needs a this needs a small key. Okay. So somewhere there is a chest and it looks like it's right there that I need a key from. Hear me out. Alright, yeah. I figured that would happen, but I had to try. The whatchamacallit was called, like, the courage to fall or whatever, and I was like, oh, what if I just, like, slam into this at max speed from above? Alas, it did not work. Yeah, I don't think there's any way I'm getting you out. So, in that case, where does the game want me to go? I can open up these doors. Does not really accomplish anything, though. And then I'm just right back here. Yeah, sword definitely went through that. Huh. 
How do I get down to where that key is? Just trying to see if I could grab that. Do the lasers damage you? If they're like the lasers from the other shrine we were at, they um, they make fire spew out and then light you on fire. Have I been over here? That just dead ends. So I, wait, I could have opened this door, but I wouldn't have been able to go straight in because the lasers are in the way. There's nothing down around this edge that I need to like fall to, right? Doesn't look like it. My only other thought right now is that I'm missing a location I can ascend at, potentially. Oh, actually, wait a minute. Is there anything right here at all? Ah, uh, that looks like a sheer rock wall. I don't see anything I could really be doing right there. Whoop. Whoops, wrong button. Yo, the little land animation there is really clean. Gotta get back, back to the past samurai jack. Wacha. I probably could have gone over the laser there, to be honest. Could have tried at least. Uh, what if I, wait a minute, can I ascend? I can't ascend right here, really? I thought maybe I could ascend straight up into that locked room. Can you ascend on this? Oh, you totally, well, not when it's moving, you can. Mm, I must be missing something somewhere again. Just not sure where. I don't see how I can get under that grate. To be quite honest with you, I simply do not see it. Her. I also don't see how this dungeon has anything to do with falling, really? Unless I'm missing something? I mean, obviously I must be missing something, but I have no idea what. I thought that was making a noise that something was activating there. just the noise of it hitting the wall. I'm gonna be honest, you boy is a little stumped on this one. Don't see why I can't ascend here. Oh, whoops. Oh. Oh, you have to play bad to proceed? That's an interesting design choice. The only experience I've ever had with these lasers is them shooting fire at you, so I don't know how the game expected me to realize that, hey, actually, this one will throw you down to where you need to go. Every other instance of you ever encountering the lasers, it's been, hey, bad, don't get close to them. But in this one instance, if you don't let them harm you, then you just lose. Or not harm you, but if you don't jump into them, which is typically a thing you would not do, then you just lose. That's kind of stupid. Yeah, this, this shrine immediately gets a thumbs down from me for the solution to it being, hey, do the thing that in the other shrines we told you not to do. I think the name of the shrine is a hint for that. It's a terrible hint. Did this shrine say courage to fail? I thought it said courage to fall. Even if it says courage to fail, that's still stupid. 
do not like this shrine. Lame shrine. Open up. It's courage to fall? Okay, so it's not even courage to fail. That's an even worse hint, then. That's very stupid and bad. I do not like it. This definitely goes on the list for uh, worst... Worst whatchamacallsits thus far. Whee! Get me out of here. Lame shrine. Are you not getting in the hole? Any Yeah, any day now. I wish Shroom was back from his, uh, getting his pasta. He would have agreed with me. He would have been like, well, that was stupid. I can hear his voice in my head saying it right now. Would have been a way better shrine since it was called Courage to Fall if instead you had to just climb to the top and then jump off the side at the left and you like could not see maybe or like it was hard to see like where you were trying to like you would have to swerve in and land and then you had to land there. Dude, look at how yellow that horse is. What the heck, dude? Insanely yellow horse. Spicy, you got some spicy meatballs? <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah. Did you want to use this pot? I'm done using it, so have at it. This blizzard, am I right? I was making spicy food with spicy peppers so I can keep <laughs> warm outside. All you have to do is throw meat or fish or even mushrooms into a pot with spicy peppers. Sounds delicious. Mm. Right, right. There are some spicy, uh, spicy peppers growing by the well out back if you want to give it a try. I might need to go grab some more of those. Yo, Flint, perfect. I think we have 20 now. See if we can get some money from that guy. Do I have anything else that does? These are, um... Yeah, this is attack in high temperatures. I think I ran out of spicy peppers and I used those fish, so I don't actually think we have something to help with... with whatchamacallit right now. With heat gain. Hello. It is so cold. Oh, special little dish right there. I just got back to hear that. My stove is crap, that the water is still heating up. That's very unfortunate, Shroom. Have you considered getting a better stove? You came all the way here dressed like that, aren't you cold? The blizzard outside is furious, isn't it? This weather can be life-threatening to those without cold-resistant clothes. While my fashion is perfect for nearly every scenario, sadly, a raging blizzard isn't one of them, so I'm stuck here. You can buy cold-resistant clothing at Rito Village off to the west, clothes that are stuffed with feathers, I heard. But they say that the bridge that crosses over to the village has collapsed, so a journey there could prove fruitless. Yeah, well, I can, like, climb everything, so... Not really a problem. Yeah. Hey, I get a pony point, right? Oh. Welcome, welcome. You've reached Snowfield oh. Stable. Thank you for supporting the association. Since this is your first time, we'll add a pony point. Thank you. What's my reward? Oh, oh looks like you got some points saved up, Link. If you want to get your reward, step up to the side counter where I keep the ledger and call me over. Oh. Heck is a Melania bed. Oh. If you sleep in a Melania bed, not only will you wake up more energized, Melania, the horse god, may also share a mystical message. We don't offer such luxury to anyone. Only customers with at least seven pony points can use Melania beds. Now then, once again. Okay, so I don't have enough points anyway. That sounds very funny, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rito Village is, like, messed up or whatever. I get it. Give me give me whatever my upgrade is. Receive reward. Hi. Ah, uh, yes, I'll be right with you. I'd consider getting a whole better house. Just move in with me, Shroom. It's, like, really easy to move from the UK to the States, right? Just, just do it. I got space for you. You'd like to get your pony points reward, right? Oh. For five points, you get the horse god fabric. Oh, thank you. Tough fabric bearing a design of the horse Melania. It looks like it could be used to make a paraglider. Oh, how oh. nice. I hear the dye shop in Hateno has a new service using fabric. If you ever find yourself in Nakluda, you ought to stop by. Yeah, we'll get there eventually. Huh? If you save up two more points, you'll be able to use the Melania bed. Okay, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah. yep. Oh, you're on your way? Awesome. I will tell Koji not to, uh, 
not to attack you. He might attack you anyway, though. And if he does, well, you know, you get what you deserve, I guess. My wood. I'm just gonna walk around with this uh, weapon on fire the whole time. That'll, that'll take care of my cold issue. Does your weapon ever burn to a crisp? I feel like it should, but maybe it doesn't. Who knows? I have to put it out to run, which is annoying. Hello. Chaos, come live with me. Also, Chaos, who let Shroom in my chat? Well, my chat and my house are two different things. Like, come on, man. Cook it up. It does in Breath of the Wild. Maybe it does or maybe it doesn't in this game. Who knows? Eight and a half minutes is pretty good. Give me two of these with, um... Let's keep it a little simpler this time. Just throw in like a, uh... A Hillian Shroom. And then one thing of meat. Spicy a pepper pepper steak. And one more with two apples. And then to really bring the whole thing together, a chicolo tree nut. That ought to do it. <laughs> Spicy simmered fruit. All right, before I bother eating this, where am I going next? This stable has not really told me about how to make this fairy happy. Maybe the person reading the newspaper can tell me something more specific. What is this? Work in progress, do not touch. Okay, my bad. What's the Lucky Clover Gazette talking about? Great fairy flees in a flower bud. That doesn't sound good at all. Great fairy known for love of music has hidden herself in her flower bud. Nearby woodland stables in a panic. I'd heard a musical troupe was heading to Elden in the Northeast. I wonder if they're planning to visit Woodland Stable. I bet there's a lot going on there too. Plus there's that rumor that a great fairy would sometimes offer a blessing. Hopefully a great fairy near here emerges, yada yada. They just keep talking about Woodland whatever, but I already went there and I think I need to, they said I need to find like where the Hebra place like does their shenanigans in the first place. Other stories? The Lucky Clover Gazette is here for you. Lucky Clover Gazette has opened its office at Rito Stable. Any eager new journalists are encouraged to imply a stable has turned into a newspaper then? That's definitely a change. I suppose if I'm ever near Rito Village, I could pop over there. Okay, so it's like right over next to Rito Village then. And I don't want to get that close to Rito Village right now. So I think I'm going to... Is there a shrine over there? I think we're going to eat my low-cost food or my low time heat resistance, go over here, which I think is the pin for the, um, the whatchamacallit, the tower, get the tower, and then we're gonna go north of Hyrule Castle after that. Yeah, that's the tower. That ice dragon is over here, isn't it? I can't believe this stable is built this close to the ice dragon. Seems like a, uh, not a great idea, to be honest. Don't mind me, just passing through. Nothing to see here. I just want to get over to Ye Olden Tower. Waiting until I take some damage to eat my, uh, my heating food, because it'll also heal me. So we definitely want to do the Rito main quest next, because we also want to go over there and see what we can do about the newspaper and what it'll lead to. Yeah, and that dragon's just chilling over there. He's just hanging out and having a good time. Being a lad. Minding his own dang business. 
Let's see what activating this tower will give us access to. My mother is forcing me to eat chips with my dad. That That is quite a situation you found yourself in. What an interesting one. Run, Link, run. As fast as your glowy pants can take you. We have three and a half minutes to make this happen. Otherwise, I have to use another dish, and I don't want to have to use another dish. Whoop. There we go. 